Hi everyone, this is Laurel Elaine Wontuck with Young Living, an executive leader, and this is my little girl and our cat. This is my reason for being um, such a cool company with Young Living and why I trust all their products. Today we're going to be talking about kids sense um, things. So, okay, there was your cameo. Hey. <laughs> Love ya. Um, so we're going to talk about all these different products over, ooh, there's more oils, um, shampoos, and toothpaste, and um, lots to come. So today I'm just going to highlight two things that are really, really important. Uh, they're a little bit newer with Young Living. My daughter has been taking the um, Mighty Vites, the vitamins, for um, a long time, probably at least a couple years. But the Mighty Pro is their probiotic, and then their um, Mighty Zyme is their version of the enzymes for kids. So like we've had Essential Zyme 4 for a long time. I love that one, take that all the time. But the kids ones they finally came out with so you can feel safe using them. So basically I'm gonna start with the Mighty Pro probiotic one. So this was sought after for a long time, right? Because we had Life9 and you know, how do you get your kid to swallow that? Um, I used to break up with a capsule and try to sneak it in smoothie for her. Um, not ideal. So they came up with these really convenient um, pre-packaged little uh, servings, individual servings. So basically like when I'm traveling, these are really handy. Um, I get my daughter to drink kombucha in the morning, which I know I know it has, it's like, it's fermented and then it has this like 0.05% alcohol, but I water it down, I put juice in with it. Like usually we'll have some like um, or organic orange juice or some apple juice or um, some sour cherry juice lately I've been doing. And so I get her to take a, that little bit of kombucha in the morning for probiotics. Well, not everybody wants to drink that and kombucha can be a little expensive lately. I've been doing my own water kefir grains. So basically um, probiotics are so great for our digestive health. And these taste really good. So they're very kid friendly. You can pretty much pour them in water and they're yummy. Or you can put them in, like I said, with a little bit of juice in the morning. I prefer to do these in the morning, although the Life9, um, it's better. I've heard it's supposed to do, be taken at night. Um, but I don't really want to give my daughter this like right before bed because it's a little like there's a little stevia in it. So I'm just going to go over what probiotics are real quick. I think a lot of you already know a lot about it. But basically they support your digestive health and your gut health is linked to your brain health and your immune health. So think, you know, healthy gut, healthy body healthy mind and this all works together so um young living says there's about eight billion active life cultures in this i'm pretty sure they freeze freeze dry them so um they're kept uh viable and they are really cool because this is a probiotic and prebiotic prebiotic is sort of this new thing i never heard of it until a few years ago so the prebiotic sorry if you hear my video my neighbors i'm plowing because we just had a big snowstorm yay um, prebiotics actually feed the probiotic. So the prebiotic is stuff like fiber. So you have, um, like I take this one prebiotic, there's inulin and like flaxseed and these oligosaccharides. So basically that's what's in these. But they are using their, um, their ninja berries, like I won't call them goji berries, but you know what I mean. And they actually have these fructoligosaccharides. Sorry if I didn't say that right fructoglosaccharides and so they're using that ninja wolfberry fruit fiber to actually um, feed then the probiotics like the bacteria and the yeast that then what make up the culture in our stomach so we always like give a bad you know connotation and I, um, Dixie mentioned this with bacteria and with um so there's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria. So they shouldn't all take that bad rap. So basically there's um, lactobacillus strains or streptococcus and um, different ones with the probiotic. So you take the them together and the probiotic helps um, 
uh, promote then the good bacteria to be able to colonize on that in your gut. So it actually maximizes the benefit of the probiotic complex. So it's really cool. It's kind of like this new thing with, um, you know, we a lot of us I think have heard of probiotics now, but not a lot of us have heard about prebiotics. And like an apple to me is kind of like that. You know, when you eat your apple, it's good fiber. Um, again, this is something that's really handy, like if you're in a hurry in the morning, you know, obviously if you could just eat fermented foods and eat all this fruit and vegetables and have access to it, and that your child is gonna eat the fermented sauerkraut, let's say, that you make or buy at the store, but like, I can get my daughter to, to do a lot. Green smoothies, and like I said, this tiny bit of kombucha, but um, sauerkraut, no, not yet. And uh, there's just certain things that, you know, come on, kid friendly. So this is an amazing way to colonize their um, GI tract, or and or you. I have taken these plenty, so, um, but they're, they're geared towards kids, but that way, you know, if you share it or whatever, and then they're great for their digestive health to keep their um, their stuff moving and to help with any kind of like pressure bloating, um, you know, gas and stuff like that. And so if your child isn't able to always just eat all their fruits and vegetables and, you know, I really stress the organic to just minimize, um, you know, pesticides and weird stuff on our food. Um, if, if they're not just eating all their organic broccoli all the time and they get, you know, a little constipated, they're not going regularly, hey, this is a great um, aid. And so we pretty much do this every morning. If we don't have the kombucha, I sneak this in. We, the gut health is just so, so key. And that pretty much goes right in line with the Kids Sense Mighty Zymes. So um, again, this is pretty new. Um, we haven't had tried this one a lot, but it's really, um, they're a little pepperminty. They're super benign. It's like kids like chew it up. It's, um, they're not even as big as the, as the vitamins ones. Um, so these are wonderful again in aiding the, um, digestive process. Now enzymes are usually found in fruits, vegetables, but they're even found in stuff like the sauerkraut I was talking about, or in um, kefir, or some people say kefir, like there's the milk uh, kefir that you can find in the store. Um, even like avocados and bananas. I mean, I always think pineapple and mangoes when I, and um, papaya, when I think enzymes naturally occurring, but even like avocados and things, um, have these enzymes and they're there to keep us to kind of think uh, fiber and then you all these enzymes are there to help break down your food to keep you regular which is so so key for healthy living um i won't go into it a lot but i've been obsessed with health and wellness for many many years and i used to work in a detox wellness center not like alcohol drug detox more like um well it could be but more like uh uh, fasting in Thailand and I actually taught people how to do a colon hydrotherapy type stuff via enemas and uh, uh, flush your system regularly and that's really really important to keeping you young and keeping everything just moving so um, we can't we don't always have access to the papaya and um, pineapple in our diets so these enzymes are huge then in aiding that so I've taken essential enzymes for or essential enzymes for for, for years and when I don't take it I notice it and when, when I ever have any discomfort um, say I ate too much pizza or something like that I just instantly um, take my enzymes and I swear you'll notice a huge difference just keeping you regular so same with our children if you notice that they have you know their kind of bloated or they're gassy, sometimes cramps or eat too much or too much sugar, processed foods, and they're not eating fresh pineapple every day, um, these are a wonderful supplement to their diet. And they, you're supposed to just take one with the with the meal. They say, you know, up to a few times a day, and there's different directions for if you, the children are younger or once they're old, old, over six, they can take them more frequently. So even if you're giving your child like one a day um, with their main meal, with the big lunch or with dinner, it's really gonna help them um, keep that digestive health flowing, which again is linked to so much of their uh, mental health 
and just your overall immune system. And we all want to be boosting our immune systems right now and doing everything we can to stay healthy. And so these are two really wonderful products that um, if you haven't tried, give them a try. And so for um, you know being part of this awesome group that Jamie has been, you know, uh, kind of behind it, and then we're all been part of it lately making these videos like I'm so happy to see you all making your videos and then um, if you would comment below with something that you found um, it can be these products but it can just be some other helpful tip for your children if you have children if not for yourself that you found has really made a difference with your digestive health and then these are so awesome you get about you get 30 in here same with the lozenges so i was going to send somebody 10 of these to try them if you comment below and um jamie's really good at keeping track of this so she's going to um, help me with this and if you do your $100 order this month of February on the Essential Rewards. And Jamie talked about that in her other video about why the rewards are so important. I just got these all free a little bit ago because I use my rewards points. So how cool was that? So I do 100 every month pretty much. Well, sometimes I do more like 300 if I really want to max out and get all these freebies with it. But get real, 100 a month is... is you're committing to a lot and so that's perfect so 100 a month adds up and next thing i knew i had over 100 um points or you know to use on product so then i'm able to get some stuff i might not always try so again thank you so much for all you do and being in this awesome group if you comment below with something that's really helped your digestive health that you found so that we can all um, get some good ideas flowing I will send you 10 of your own mighty pro to try again I even take it with her so in the morning I mix it up with um, juice these straw things are so cool by the way they twist on to any mason jar and I just add this to the juice and you know I usually water down juice anyway if you want you can do it straight in water it's really fruity good tasting and um, here's my fun young living one with the metal straw even um, cooler the metal than just plastic so they're really easy to just add to your favorite thing so anyway my mom just wrote me because I love your guts I love <laughs> <laughs> That's our new slogan. I love your guts. So anyway, thank you again so much for watching. And I'll be back soon to tell you more about all the vitamins and all the oils. I'm so excited to share more with you. And take care. Be well. Thanks again.